a ministry of the Calvary Baptist Church. This is Countdown to Courage. Welcome aboard, everybody. It's Thursday. Happy Thursday. It's uh, November the 17th, 2022. I hope you're having a great day today. It's a beautiful day where I am here in North Carolina and just right outside of my study here. Uh, I can see the sun shining and it's just a, a beautiful day. A little cool in North Carolina, but it's a beautiful day of life and we thank the Lord for that. The Bible says this is the day the Lord has made and we ought to rejoice and be glad in it. So we're rejoicing in this day and we're rejoicing that you're with us today. Thank you for allowing us to come into your life just for a few moments. We're still thanking the Lord for the great service that we had last night at Calvary. Really good night, good crowd last night and good spirit. We just thank the Lord for his blessings and um, and it's great to be uh, on here with you today. And so right now I want to encourage you to like and share if you would. The more you do that, the more you share the broadcast, the more the message of the gospel is going to get out and the more opportunity we're going to receive to be able to help others. And so uh, right now if you'd reach down and hit that share button uh, and uh, maybe someone needs to hear this uh uh, small truth. This uh, well, let me let me rephrase that because I don't know if there's any truth that's small, uh, simple, a simple truth, but really life changing is what we're going to give you today. And so again, welcome aboard. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Let me make an announcement real quick if I could and uh, of course I want to make mention of the giveaway we're promoting a really nice gift this week this is a book by Dr. David Jeremiah entitled is this the end uh, which is a question that's very prominent and popular today is this the end um, if you would like the opportunity to win this gift right now just reach down hit that share button and Lord willing tomorrow my beautiful little wife will get all those names together of those who have shared and we will draw out from that pool of names for this wonderful gift if you're one of our folks we'll give it to you on the campus there at Calvary and if you're not one of our folks then we will put it in a nice envelope get it to you in the mail it won't cost you anything and that's compliment of the Calvary Baptist Church in Union Grove, North Carolina. Let's do this, though. Let's find out who is uh, watching, and then we're going to get right into our uh, our lesson today. If you uh, have the opportunity to do, to do this, I want to encourage you right now to find your Bibles and uh, turn over to 1 Samuel chapter 30, and I want to show you something I believe is absolutely life-changing today. 1 Samuel chapter 30, of course, that's where our whole study has been for the last three weeks. And uh, But I want to show you something that we have not, we've, we've not previously brought out that I believe is going to be a help to you. But let's go ahead and do some shout-outs quickly, all right? And then we'll go just a little bit further today. Let me back it up here. Uh, let's see, Gwendolyn Pennington's watching from uh, West Jefferson. Gwendolyn, welcome aboard. Thank you so much for tuning in today. God bless you. Rose Blue, hey Rose, good to see you today. I hope you're having a good day. You and Rachel. Uh, there is uh, Charles Campbell. Hey Charles, welcome back to the broadcast today. I sure appreciate you tuning in. God bless you. There's the Hooks watching from Morganton, North Carolina. Barry, Christine, good to see you. Barry, I hope you're feeling better. And uh, I'm glad to hear that you got out of the hospital. That's a blessing. There's Karen Hoffman. Hey, Karen. Welcome. Hope you're feeling better. And we cannot wait to see you back at Calvary. Karen, hope things are going well with you today. God bless you. There's Eddie Weatherman. Hey, Eddie. It was so good to see you and your dear wife at Calvary last night. And uh, Eddie, I appreciate your spirit, brother. It's, it's great to have you on here with us. God bless you. Um, let's see. Uh, Gary and Christine are watching from uh, Union Grove, North Carolina, and we want to welcome the Edwards aboard today. So good to see uh, Gary and Christine. Chuck Campbell's watching. Hey, Chuck. Good to see you, buddy. Hope you and the kids are having a blessed day today. Ricky Bird. Hello, Brother Ricky. 
Good to see you, my friend. Thank you for your questions last night and fellowship. And Ricky, it's good to see you on the broadcast today. Gwendolyn, thank you for your kind comment there. I like that. That's a blessing. Jeanette Wilhelm is watching. Hello, Miss Jeanette. Hope you and Terry are having a good day today. I was praying for you and Brother Terry earlier today. And uh, Jeanette, good to see you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Kitty Hilton's watching. Hey, Kitty. I hope you are having a great day. <laughs> hope you and Richard are having a great day. That's a that's an inside joke. And uh, uh, and I hope you and Steve are blessed and uh, doing well today. So good to see you on here. There's Nancy Campbell. Hey, Nancy. Uh, uh, thanks for tuning in on this Thursday. I hope you and Steve are having a great week, and it was good to see you last night. God bless you. There's Abel Seats. Hello, Brother Abel. I was thinking about you and Lauren earlier today and was praying for both of you, buddy, and it's good to see you on the broadcast today. There's Judy Connor. Hey, Judy. Good to see you, and it was great to see you and your dear daughter and the grandkids last night, and thank you for being on the broadcast today. God bless you. Sandy Jennings is watching. Hey, Sandy. Uh, Sandy, good to see you. Proud of you. Thank you for tuning into the broadcast today. Patsy Bird. Hello, Patsy. Good to see you today. I hope you're having a good day there in Harmony. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, Stephanie McNeely's watching. Hey, Stephanie, watching from down around Charlotte, North Carolina. And uh, Stephanie, hope you and Raphael uh, are having a, a great day today, and we welcome you guys aboard. God bless you. Uh, let's see here. I'm just making sure that's it. That's some of the ones that I can see. There may be others, and um, my wife... <laughs> Yesterday, as soon as the broadcast got done, my wife uh, came and poked her head into my office and she said, you missed me. And uh, I told her, I said, listen, you got to get in there while the getting's good. And if you tune in a little bit late, I don't see you sometimes. So anyway, listen, we love you. Thanks for tuning in today. Thank you for being a part of our Countdown family. We appreciate that very, very much. Let me show you, let me show you something that's really, really interesting from 1 Samuel chapter 30. We've been talking about how to encourage yourself. And we've been using 1 Samuel 30 and verse number 6 where the Bible says, that David encouraged himself in the Lord. Now, several things we've given you the last three weeks. We talked about people, putting the right kind of people around you. We talked about prayer and how prayer is taking action. Prayer puts you in the presence of God, which brings encouragement. We talked about patience, where when you've prayed, then you wait on God to, to come through and encourage you. We talked about positivity. And then we talked about philanthropy just a little bit. But I want to go one step further today. Uh, how about this? Number six in our series is the word pursuit. Pursuit. Now, I want you to find your place in 1 Samuel chapter 30, if you will, and look at verse number 8. The Bible says, And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? In other words, Lord, should we go after those that have taken our wives and our children captives? Uh, shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he, talking about God, and he answered him, Pursue. For thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fail recover all. So David went, the Bible says. He and the 600 men that were with him and came to the book Besor, where those that were left behind stayed. Now, first of all, I love this because David, in the midst of discouragement, decides to pursue. I love this. I really do. And this goes back to that positivity point that we gave to you. David said, I'm not going to lie down and die. This is a difficult situation. It's not convenient. doesn't feel good. Uh, we're, we're, we're distressed. But David said, I am not going to lay down and give into this situation. David said, I am going to pursue. Now, I don't know who that I'm talking to today, but I know the Lord knows, and the Lord has a reason that I'm teaching this today. And maybe someone's tuning into this broadcast today and discouragement has come. Uh, distress has come. Despair has come. And the temptation a lot of times is to just lay down and die. But I want to say to you, like God said to David, pursue. Whatever you do, get up. If you're discouraged, get up and go forward. Somebody said never despair Never despair, but if you do, go on in despair. And so I love this because the Bible says that David pursues. 
But what's really interesting and what I really want to bring out to you today is this, that we noticed that there were some in David's group that stopped. And look at it, if you will. First Samuel chapter number 30 and verse number nine. The Bible says, so David went, verse nine, so, so David went, he and the 600 men that were with him, and came to the brook Besor, where those that were left behind stayed. But David pursued, he and 400 men, for 200 abode behind, which were so faint that they could not go over the brook Besor. So there were some that stayed behind. But here's what I want to, want to bring out. I want you to notice where they stayed behind and why they stayed behind. The Bible says here that they stayed behind at something called the brook Besor. Now, man, think about this. Think about this. Uh, the, the word besor or the word brook, actually the word brook there means this. It means a narrow valley in which the brook runs or a stream, a stream bed. Now get this church because this will help you. This was not, this is my point that I want to make. This, this place where they got held up, this place that they could not get over was a brook. This was not the Jordan River. This was, was not the Red Sea. This was a brook. This was not the Grand Canyon. This was a brook. It was a stream bed is where they got held up, but they just couldn't get over it. Here was a little brook, a bee sore, and yet they just could not get over it. Now, did you know that a lot of times, it's those little things that we have a hard time getting over. It's those little things that hold us back in the valley of discouragement. It's those little times of depression, those little times of discouragement, those little times of despair that hold us back. It's not the Grand Canyon of problems. It's not the, the even the Jordan River of problems, but it's just that little brook bee sore that holds us back. And I listen, I want to encourage you, whatever you do, friend, don't allow the little things of life to hold you back. Don't allow those little times of discouragement to hold you back. Now, you say, Brother Steve, what are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about that little thing that maybe somebody did or that little thing that someone said. Someone said something they shouldn't have, they, they shouldn't have said. And if, if we're not careful, you know what happens? We'll let that little thing, that little word, that little statement that somebody made, we'll let that hold us back. We'll let that deprive us of joy. We'll let that keep us out of church. Oh, listen. We're running well today, aren't we? Yes. Can I get an amen right there? We'll let that little thing that somebody did, somebody said, we'll let that thing hold us back from pursuing and going on for the Lord. That little thing that someone did, or how about this, that little thing that somebody didn't do, <laughs> they, they, they didn't say thank you. And because they didn't show their gratitude, you know what, boy, it just... It gets in our crawl. It's that burr under our saddle, and we let that thing hold us back. Somebody didn't wish us a happy birthday. Someone didn't. Uh, uh, someone didn't express their appreciation. Uh, or how about this? Someone didn't apologize. Oh, come on now. We're doing good today. Somebody, you know what? Somebody owed you an apology, but they didn't give it to you, and because of that, boy, you got all kinked up about it, and uh, and you let that thing rob you of your joy. You've let it take away your shout. You've let it keep you from going to church. You've let it keep you from reading your Bible. You've let it keep you from prayer, and it's that little brook, bee sore, that's that's holding you back. And and wow, what a statement! What a thought here that. There were at least 200 men that got held back because of this, not this big thing, but this little thing. It kept them from going forward. It kept them from pursuing. It kept them from being a part of that victorious crowd. And oh, listen, Countdown family, this is all I'm saying. Whatever you do, don't let that little thing keep you from encouragement, keep you from joy. Don't listen. It's not worth it, man. Just today, decide that you're going to forgive and forget and 
uh, and just go forward and you say, well, preacher, they didn't apologize. Well, just forgive them anyway. Or, uh, or preacher, they didn't show their appreciation. Well, you know what? Just, just be glad that God forgave us when we didn't deserve it. And how many times have we not shown our appreciation of the Lord like we should? And, and yet God still loves us and cares for us and, and encourages us and blesses us. And, and if God would do that, well, we ought to do that. Amen. And so, Pursue. I just want to encourage you today, whoever I'm talking to, uh, you say, Pastor, I'm discouraged. Get up today and pursue and go forward for the cause of Christ and let the Lord use you in a great way. Man, I'm glad we had this time together today because if it didn't encourage anybody else, it helped this old boy right here. And so I hope it's been a blessing to you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Just, just put our prayer helpline on the screen today, 704-327-5662. If you're watching the broadcast today, maybe for the very first time even, and you say, Brother Pope, I don't know for sure that I'm on my way to heaven. Uh, I don't know that I'm saved. I don't know that I'm a Christian. I want you to reach for your phone right now. And I want you to dial that number on your screen, 704-327-5662. We're not going to ask you for a donation, but we would like to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with you and how you can know that you're going to heaven when you die. And then all of our countdown family, don't forget, be kind to everybody because everybody's having a tough time. Hey, listen, thanks for being with us on Thursday. Hope you have a good rest of the day. And Lord willing, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow at this same time on Countdown to Courage. God bless you and take care.